going to show you how to use Automator, which is a great tool for being able to, as the name suggests, automate tasks. So if you do a lot of things with images that you need to manipulate or organizing your finder or um, creating calendar events, all kinds of things you can do with Automator. And so let's fire it up and kind of show you what it looks like. So when it launches, sometimes a window will come up. If a window doesn't come up, you can start a new uh, start a new document. But there are different types of workflows that you can create. And a workflow is just a mini application. And uh, Automator creates these workflows, and you can save them in different locations. If you create just the workflow, it saves it within Automator itself. That means if you ever want to run that workflow, you actually have to launch Automator to do that. But you can save a workflow as a standalone application that can be saved to your desktop or some other folder. You can share it with somebody else. And so you just double click on it and that will launch that little workflow. Uh, I'm a big fan of using quick actions. Quick actions are what gets saved into like context menus. So if you go to, if you right click on something and you bring up the services menu, that's where click actions are saved. Um, and you can, create printer plugins, you can do folder actions, calendar alarms. So a lot of the things you can do in Automator are kind of self-explanatory. So just want to give you an idea of what it what it's like when you're working with it. So let's let's do uh, an application. And when working with an application, uh, when creating uh, an Automator uh, workflow, you have basically on this left-hand side here, all the different types of workflows that you can create. And then you know, this is all of them, but you can drill down if you want to look at just calendar related ones. If you just want to look at context related ones, developer, etc. Um, uh, files and folders is a popular one that gets used because if you're creating a single application that needs to like manipulate an image or some other file that's in one of your folders, you use this in order to grab that file. And so, you know, a lot of these are self-explanatory. So, you know, a popular one that I like to use is related to manipulating images. And at first, you know, I want to start with files and folders because I want, I want to give it an application. I want to give the application um, the uh, instructions to actually find a folder or find an item in a particular folder. So I usually get, spe um, get specified finder items and then you just drag it over. And now you have a particular, now this is in your, your workflow. You see these little connections here. Um, I like to here this will show you the results. If you run something, um, options, I usually like to show this action uh, when the workflow runs. That way we actually run it. You can have an option to, in this particular case, um, find and see the file that you want to be able to get. All right, and so the next thing that we want to add, if I'm going to be manipulating images, uh, let's go over to uh, the photos, and let's say we want to uh, scale images, uh, you know, change the size of it. So drag that over. Uh, now, you see this little window comes up that's asking you, this action will change the image files passed into it. Would you like to add a copy finder items action so that copies are changed and your originals are preserved? So essentially what this means is, it's going to change that original file that you are attempting to resize. And it's asking you, do you want to make a, a copy of it first so that you preserve the original? Uh, normally when I'm, you know, as a, as a blog editor or as a writer, or I'm getting images for blog posts that I'm writing, um, I'm usually getting them from some place like Unsplash or Pexels or something. And so if I mess up and I need to re-download it, I can just do that. Or sometimes a client is giving it to me and I can get it from their Dropbox or so. You know, I don't want to add additional files to my hard drive, so I usually don't select this. But you can select it if that's something that you want to. That's something that works best for you. So I'm going to do don't add. So basically, um, this will do, uh, change that original image to the size. In this case, it's it preset to 480 pixels. Now you can change the size by percentage. Uh, if you want to reduce it, say like by 50 percent, I usually choose. Uh, pixels and then I always choose the option click on options to show this action and what this will do is you know let's say I want most of my images to default to 1600 so whenever I use this it's going to shrink the image from whatever size it is down to 1600 pixels and that's on the long side so if it's a tall image it's going to shrink it to 1600 
pixels tall. If it's a wider image, it's going to shrink it down to 1600 pixels wide. But, you know, sometimes I want it even smaller than that. In, in which case, by selecting this option, show this action when the workflow runs, um, when this action comes up, I'll have the opportunity to enter in a different number. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to File, I'm going to save this, and let's call it Scale to 1600. And uh, let's say I want to save this, I'll just save it to my desktop. So we're going to save it to desktop. So remember, this is a standalone application that we're creating. File formats an application we see here. Uh, and then we're going to hit save. Okay. So now, let's hide that. There it is. So if I wanted to change an image, I could just drop it on there. So, or actually, I could probably just run it because I put that get finder items, right? So let's double click it. And now you see here, I have the option to find an image. So I'm gonna click on add. Uh, let's let it run a little bit. And then let's go to, let's go to my downloads. Let's find a folder, an image. Uh, hacks, that's a good TV show. Uh, maybe we're gonna do a blog post about hacks. So we're gonna add that, uh, hit continue. Now uh, it's gonna shrink it down to 1600. Let's make it really small, 500 pixels. So boom. So if I were to, let's open up that uh, folder, hacks, poster, get okay, info on it. We see, now this one, I should have showed this beforehand, but this was originally like 2,500 pixels wide. Now it's shrunk down to 500. So that's how that works. Uh, now let's say we wanted to create uh, this scale to 1600, but instead of making it a standalone application, we want it to be something that comes up in a context menu. So let's close this one for now. Let's go to new document. And we're going to do a quick action. So quick actions are saved for workflows that maybe add to Finder, the touch bar, and the services menu. Uh, you can manage them in your in your system preferences. So we're going to get choose. Um, and with quick actions, instead of having to do the files and finders, uh, quick actions default to giving you the opportunity to select where you want to that where you want to access that particular file right off, right from the beginning. So here, see you have files and folders as, a, as some of the options where you can select the files that you want to affect. Here, uh, we want this to be geared towards image files. So we're selecting image files um, from any application. Let's say in our case, we want to use image files from the finder, right? And now let's go to uh, photos and we want to go to scale images. And again, obviously you could use any number of these. I'm just using that because that's when I use the most often, but you know, if you want to create one that rotates the images, you can do that. So let's do scale images. We're going to drag that over. Here's that, uh, that menu. And I could click this, do not show again, but I'll, I'll keep it because who knows, sometime in the future I may change my mind. I might want to have the option, but for now I'm bit don't add. And again, we're going to, say 1600 will be my default click on options i want to show this action when the workflow runs if i don't click this it will default to 1600 automatically and not give me the option to change it on the fly so i'm going to select that um, and i think that's all that we need to do then i'm going to hit you can hit apple s to save but i'll just go here so you can see me doing it and then we can call it scale to 1600 right Boom. So now that is saved, uh, and I'm going to open up. Oops, I opened up another automated file. I'm in Finder. I'm going to open up my folders. Let's go to my downloads, and here I oh here I have Mayor of Easton. I'm writing a blog post about that, or maybe it was a Facebook post. I don't know. So here's an image from great HBO show Mayor of Easton. Let's see. It is currently a thousand pixels wide. So we want to make this one. So we want to also make this one 500. So now if I right click on it or control click, I have two, I have quick actions. I can find it there. Or if I go to services, 
I can find it there. They're both the same thing. And let's go to scale to 1600. And we should see the same opportunity to change it on the fly. In this case, we already know that it's a thousand pixels. If we try to scale it up, we're going to lose um, quality. So you always want to scale down. So here we're going to change this to, I think we said 500. Let's make it 750. All right. And then we're going to hit continue. And then boom. Uh, Right now, this is sorted by date modified, so it jumped up to the top. Hit Apple I for GAMFO. Now we see that 750 by 422 pixels. So that is, oh, let's close that. Um, so, yeah, so that is uh, how you use Automator. That's just the basics of using it. Um, you know, some other things to keep in mind. Let's go back and open this up again. Let's open up a new document. Let's just do a workflow. Um, Again, like I said before, you can click on the left-hand side to see the different types of workflows you can create. You can click over here to select the ones. And um, it's just a really great opportunity to be able to uh, add some efficiency to your workflow. Hope you enjoy this little tip.